Yo, what's going on, Knicks Nation? It's your boy, come to you with a brand new video. Before we get into the video, hit that sub button, like the video, and comment down below your thoughts on this video. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, yesterday's game one loss against Land Hawks was a heartbreaker. We lost by two points in a game where Trey Young went off and we couldn't really contain him, and he hit the game winning layup, floater, whatever you want to call it. I'll give him props. And now, I did say that Trey Young is a very good player and it is going to be hard to stop him, but you have to do something to contain him at least and we didn't really do that at all so now i have three things that we can do going into game two to help us win now let's get into them the first one is julius randall and rj bear now we didn't get julius randall any good looks let's be honest any of the looks julius randall got were double teamed or were you know last second he has to make them shots and he didn't really perform well now he did have some good shots that he missed and he did say himself he has to be better but we have to find ways of getting Julius Randle open or maybe off the ball or something but get him open shots to get him going because if he's not going we're not really going to win any game so we need Julius Randle to get open maybe get him on some backdoor cuts you know get him on smaller defenders but get something so he is starting to heat up and we can continue and continue and build off of that until you know he's hot and can then start taking tough shots because he is one of the best tough shot makers in the league. Now, RJ Barrett. RJ Barrett did not have a good game, but he definitely rebounded the ball very well. He had 11 rebounds, which is the second highest in the history of the NBA on a playoff debut. RJ Barrett had the second highest rebounds at 11. Magic Johnson was number one at 12, but RJ Barrett did not shoot the ball very well either. He missed some open shots and he just didn't look good, you know. He did have a good poster on Bogdanovich. That was probably the dunk of the playoffs so far. Hopefully it stays dunk of the playoffs because that was a mean dunk on him. But we have to get RJ Barrett and Julius Randle more open looks to get them going. But definitely Julius Randle because he's the engine. And he's our best player. Now, both of them didn't play well. And that's because they couldn't get shot. Well, Julius Randle couldn't get shot to help him heat up. Because they were double teaming him and getting the ball out of his hands. And RJ Barrett just didn't have a good game. And that's expected. You know, it's his first time in the playoffs. And you're going to have some nerves. Some people do well. Some people don't. RJ Barrett just didn't do well. Hopefully, he comes back for game two and shows us that he's capable for this. And he's at this level. Now, the second thing is how do we stop Trey Young? Trey Young killed us on the pick and roll either he threw lobs to clint capella or he got easy floaters and they all win it now we have to do something to stop them and what do you do do you bench alpha payton and start frank nokina so he can you know acquire fouls and just hit him you know bruise him up so he's not as effective do we make him work on the defensive side you know attack him so you know he's tired on the offensive side or do we just put Frank Nokina straight up on him and, you know, guard him? Frank Nokina somewhat contained Trey Young, so he is not going to hit those floaters because we couldn't really stop those floaters. Do you know we did the ice and pick and roll? But we have to do something to stop that pick and roll. And I think the best bet is obviously Frank Nokina, who is a very good defender. Now, he's not going to stop Trey Young, like I said, but he most definitely can alter some shots and alter some passes. We have to get into the passing lanes to stop those passes, and that's just one thing that we can do. Now, the biggest question that we have had so far is about the starting lineup in Alfred Payton. Now, in today's press conference, Tom Thibodeau was asked about that, and he didn't really guarantee anything that Alfred Payton is going to start or anything, but he definitely said he's going to put the best players on the court. Now, I do think there might be a change, and I do feel a change going to come where either Derrick Rose, Frank Nokina, or Emmanuel Quickly... I don't think Emmanuel Quickly is going to start at all just because Tom Thibodeau doesn't want to start him. You know, there's some things that Emmanuel Quickly has to work on. Frank Nokina, he's going to come in straight for the defense, so you're not really going to get much production out of him in the playmaking or shooting unless if you get him wide open shot. Now, Derrick Rose is a very good player. He can create for himself. He can create for others. He can get draws. He can get layups. He's a multiversal player, and he can do everything on the court. But to stop Trey Young, do you put Frank Nokina in to start, play him like five minutes? You know how if Derrick Rose come in to play the rest of the quarter, then you can bring in Frank Nokina and Amanda quickly together or EP, whatever you want to do. But I definitely think there should be a lineup change where we can start, put Trap, Trey Young, and get the ball out of his hands. Because we want others to beat us, not Trey Young. If we get the ball out of his hands, we have to allow others, you know, hopefully they miss and then we can get the possession but we have to get the ball out of his hand now let me know in the comment section what you guys think and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out you